So then the, 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 the horse shows up, but it's stiff. Because here's my deal. Again, I want this soft. Broke in the mouth. Broke in the jaw, soft in the neck, soft through the body, soft in the mind. So that being said, where do we gotta start? We gotta start in the mind, right? So look at how this horse's head is up. What is the worst thing when you pull your horse out of the trailer and it's like their head's up and you're like, oh, this is gonna be a, you know, and then you gotta lope and then you're dealing, well, I gotta go warm them up, right? And that's where you get bucked off because you don't do any groundwork or anything, right? So it, this is me, like right from the time I throw that saddle on. So right away, I'm, I'm all of a sudden, I'm, I'm already like, oh, see right there? But see, I'm friendly game. See, I didn't push yet. I'm rubbing. But see, and look what this rain is doing. It's bending this horse around, right? If this horse wants to get away from me, it's gonna get straight and run. I need to get it soft to where it's got some bend, otherwise that head goes that way and it runs by me and kicks me in the face, right? And I know that's a long ways away from competing, but this is where it starts, friendly game, right? So friendly game, you know, make some friends here, right? So I kind of got both sides, so I'm just kind of making this short for the video. Okay, now I'm gonna push on the hind quarters. I want him to step underneath, kind of be quiet about it, and then rub it to a stop, right? Do it again, not too, there's nicer. Kind of like that to stay still if it would, not if it, it doesn't have to now. So you watch this head here, as I task this horse, to do some things here. So I've moved its hind quarters around, now I've moved its four quarters around, rub it to the stop, right? See its head picked up? I got more things for you to do yet. All right, all I'm looking for is some try. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, so here, let's bring that up. Here's the next one. So, most of the time before I get doing what I did, because I'm, here's the thing with the video, sometimes it's short and I'm choppy because I'm thinking of minute long Instagram things that I'm trying to get out. But this is where this starts, is that I need this horse to come to me and be soft on the shank. First and foremost, see how it's going that way? I just switch sides. I need it to be first and foremost, See how it's going a different now, just change direction. I'm not asking it to go in a circle. I'm asking it to get, I'm, I'm working on the draw. Now, Dottie, get, in order to get a good friendly game, you have to draw them into you, right? When they don't, when they want away from you, you're in a bind. And that's when they get straight. They get straight and they get stiff when they want away from you. See? And I'm gonna hang in there. I'm gonna hang in there. Right? So now it's coming to me again. And that's why we use 12 foot shanks. That's thinking time. It give him 12 foot to think. If that's a six foot, horse gets away, runs off, and now you're in a big bind. I haven't used a six foot shank in 20 years. Now I'm gonna go back to this where I was trying to switch sides here a while ago and the horse kind of threw a little bit of a shitty. All right, rub first. See how it kind of wanted to kick me or might buck you off? My hands are gonna, they desensitize these sharp spurs. Plus, I'm, I'm away from home. Look how this gets this horse mentally connected to me. Rub it to a stop. I'm trying, there's a feel here between me and this horse. It's like, is he being erratic? Or is he, or am, is, am I getting, so is my feel escape? Or is it a response? All right, that feel, is it escape? Or is it a response? That's what my hands are feeling. This is a response, all right? Probably to a stop.
again, pay attention to his expression. Here I am, away from home. I don't know if this horse has ever been away from home, right? I'm, I'm tasking it. I'm getting, and I'm getting it, I'm getting it to where it's, it's, it's stuck on me. All right, so that was steady pressure game. I moved basically four or five zones around. I moved zone one through five back. I move it forward. I move it around. How about a little sideways? I can move, like look at that 1,200 pound animal going. I can move it sideways with literally no pressure at all. Other side, sideways. Look at my focus. Teach yourself how to focus. So look at the connection I'm starting to get from the horse that left that trailer with its neck up in the air, kind of going, how do I get away from this guy? To all of a sudden now he's like, all right, well, oh, I better pay attention. All right, that's game number one and two, friendly game to steady pressure game. Now we're going to go to rhythmic pressure. you to go forward. So he got to learn to wait. I don't want you to run down the alley yet. Wait. Starts right here. Look at this connection starting to happen. Friendly game. Can't handle it. Then you get them desensitized to that. Yeah. Right, right? So that's the third game, fourth game. Yo yo game, straight back, straight forward. Wait, wait, wait. So I can take this Fort St. John, I can take it to Houston. Right? Get out of the trailer. Now, once you get that far, you're not, but yeah. this is, you're not going to need to do this, but. Game number five, circling game. So we're already getting prepared to ride this horse. Great, that's a great way to warm them up before I suck my girts, right? So I don't have to suck my girts in them and, and get bucked off. looking for this mental connection. I didn't say stop. I didn't say stop. All right. His, he's got responsibilities and he starts learning these responsibilities. I want you to go to that spot up in the barrel. I don't want to have to hold you into that spot every time. You know where the spot is. Go there. Yeah. Keep going around me. He knows. Give me two eyes. that's okay and now when you need to slow her down when she's not very ready now look at my arc in that body starting We're starting when you're talking about legs reaching this is where it starts yeah. when they want to get away from you they get straight 
and that leg doesn't reach because they're wanting to go the other way. When they got a little bit of roundness to them, that leg's reaching. So it can step underneath like that. It comes from the mental part. Being stopped. Remember, I want the physical someday. Yep. I want them really soft. But I have to get there because I'm the Dr. Phil. I go through the mental, the emotional, then the physical. We're all trained to go right to the pole. Right? Massage riders, they're, they're, them horses are 12, 15 years old when they're doing all That's how long it takes them to get you know, that shit together. Yeah. All right, so there we go with five game. Let's do a little rhythmic pressure sideways here. If it's kind of there. I'm just going to go with that. That's pretty tough because usually they want to dart forward. So just so I can show you that there's another game. Sideways, but with rhythmic pressure. No touch here. So some of you might go, what's rhythmic pressure? So let's say that I was on the back and I, I give a direct rein and I give my supporting rein and it and it wasn't working. The front end ain't moving. I'm gonna come with some rhythmic stimulation say get that front end moving around there's no touch to it yeah. but it's it would be you know whether it be your hat move your front end around or if I had that's rhythmic pressure right that's a different stimuli to maybe oh I get it all right this is interesting here's the deal so we talked about riding with our core mm -hmm. so understanding that this is what makes my horse go forward. When I start putting these, these colts right away, I'm not going in straight lines. I'm going in arcs. Because if they want to throw me off, if I've got them half in an arc, I can that head's already kind of yep. pointed around to where I can pull that head around and take their power away from them. Not only that, so then the next part is, is that understanding that it's this what drives your horse forward. I set that rein out there in front of them to where when they're going around, they're gonna, they're, I hold, you're gonna see me, you've seen me on, on my other videos. I hold that rein and my elbow's fastened into my rib cage. Mm -hmm. So they end up hitting that rein and they learn how to get over top of it and soft. And then I release that rein. But this body is driving them. My body is mm -hmm. driving them around and the more that this body drives and the more they want to go that way, the more I crank that nose around and they run into that rain again. And I just put more pressure on the inside, more arc on the inside. They hit that rain, they get over top of it and they get soft on that rain and I release it. And I do it over and over and over till from the day I start riding them right now to the day they die, okay. all right? So that's where, it's, that's where these arcs are. But knowing my, my thing here, people, is that my body is driving that inside of that horse around and it drives them up into that rein. Mm -hmm. You'll see me when I get on. But this is where it starts to give them an idea, these horses an idea of what's gonna happen when I get on their back. At first, this is gonna be a real long flex and they call it a long flex because it's a long, see how long this neck is flexed around? Right, Pretty, almost 90 degrees. Word of caution, if you've not done this before and you go 90 degrees, this horse will flip over and break its neck. But BNT's done this before and he's got the game. See, I led him forward and now he learns how to put the arc in the body because I'm driving here. Everything behind the withers drives forward. So he drives in over top of that bridle and gets a little bit soft. And look at, and I'm looking for that expression. The soft eye. The nice feet. Meaning quiet feet. I go to a long, a shorter flex. So now, and this also, guys, is now I'm not the bad guy up there pulling on. He learns 
she learns how to get off this by herself. So now we go to a shorter flex. I'm back here. I'm driving them ribs to the outside. I'm driving her forward. She goes around there, pulls on that bridle herself. Now, if she mentally was not equipped, would she have an arc in her body? Would she be going forward? No. She would flip over backwards, break her neck. Or just get straight like that. She got, she knows enough. So see, if I didn't have my games, this tells it, go forward, go forward, go forward. There she's out of the mind because of the games. looking for her to go around here, get soft in the eye, get quiet feet. This is no different because I don't have the $20,000 whatever this thing is that you put them in the compartments, it chases them around. You can bid them up in them things and they it's the same thing. So I have to use my game. This little $20 halter shank does the same thing as the $20,000 Exercise. See how my, my, I'm focused on this horse getting, see how it's starting to get softer? That eye's starting to melt a little bit. Leans on you, leans on, but it leans on my hand. And then it goes, it stays quiet mentally and it starts thinking, how do I get off this bit? This bit is bothering me. See, I put the pressure because of this whip behind the drive line. I didn't have that whip, how would I get behind the withers? Go around here. There's where your woe starts. The reason you say woe instead of pull on the reins because their feet are out of time. You pull on the reins, now you got them leaning on the bridle. Say whoa for a while. Get their feet in time. And get prepared for this other side. We got rain over there in a bit. Here we go with the long flex on this side. Why do you do the long first? Because it's, uh, I'm, I, the other one's actually vertical flexion. If you can, because the two reins are tied back, right? This is one rein at a time, so it prepares them for two reins tied back. Which, like I said, in the end, I'd love to run them down the arena, pull on two reins and slide their butt in the ground. In order to get that done, you have to go through all of this. So this isn't a, this isn't a trot around, this is a be quiet walk around and get soft on that rein. See how I have to kick them ribs out? That's my, that's my, the, um, what I'm trying to say is what my story is all about. Them ribs get stiff, they point towards you, they don't go forward anymore. Mm -hmm. Stay quiet, walk forward, and get soft. She's losing it mentally right now. Get it back. This happens every day to do these things so they get better and better, whether I'm here or in Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. I go through this process. I need that connection when I go to win that money. If my focus is going forward, I need them to trust it. My focus says go forward, go forward, trust it. So when you're talking about getting mentally right, Kaylee, you, the, the phone call started about being, being mentally prepared. Mm -hmm. Mentally prepared to me is being physically prepared. When you know that you have a program that works, the mental part's there. Okay. 
So it's like Ray Hunt said. I know it might not be today, it might not be next week, it might, it might not be next month, but I know it'll work. That's how good my program is. I don't have questions. Not remember, that was one of the things that you said when I walked up here. You said, I question everything that I do. I used to be like that. Mm -hmm. I don't question it no more. Anything different than my lessons or my videos, are you? Nothing. Than what? Than my lessons. No, it, it's, it's the, the same, same stuff. Yeah, it's the same stuff. See how that horse is trying to tuck its nose and soften it? He's trying to find how to get off that bridle. So I'll just quit for the day. At my best, at what I feel is my best spot. Ooh. And I can continue tomorrow. I ride five days a week, 20 days a month. I'll do that same exercise tomorrow. All right. Now, a horse is ready to ride. And I can get all that done, and you guys aren't around. 20 minutes? Yeah. Well, it's just and when they get better? Yeah. 10 minutes? Like, thing that's I, huge. Is I, I knew this was going to happen. I said, how much do you bet that when I get here, Kaylee says she has to warm her horse up? How did she warm her horse up? She rode it around physically. Yeah. Guess how I warmed mine up? On the ground like that. Which was what? Mentally. Yeah. I warmed the mind up. Yeah. I got a connection with the mind going. Right? Yeah. Bend their head and neck around. They're gonna buck me. I want to be able to have at least a chance, right? I need this soft. Right? I need that soft. All right. Now can I move tips around? Guess what I did on the ground. What did I do on the ground? Move the tips around. Can I move his four quarters around? Direct range, forty range. That's a start. I think I got eight rides on this horse. No, I think it's eleven. Hind quarters, four quarters. That's where my focus is. Right from day one, it's telling my horse, follow mm -hmm. my focus. Follow. I want up in this pocket, of course. You're not going to get up in the pocket going there. All right? So now that I got a little of that going, um, let's just kind of skip where I was going to go with a cold start. All right? So then my next thing is, is I'm like, I need to get movement. And I'm thinking of these arcs. All right? So here's the thing. Here I'm going forward, when I grab this rein, watch how this foot is driving her around, and this rein is tied to my back of my saddle. And I let it go, and this foot keeps driving. See, it's driving her forward. Teaching your horse to go forward with your core is everything. It's everything. This core is driving her, now the inside of my core is driving her around. She runs into that rein. This leg and, and this core drives all the way down through the thigh, maybe to the spur if need be. Right? Watch my core. That's where I'm going. Alright? So that's one side. Generally, on, on a green horse, because I I I I know when they go look at me out of the other eye, that could be something new, right? So on a green horse, I'm gonna go both ways, but later on I won't. I want them thinking left, going left, arcing left. See how my core is driving her because this bridle, folks, that it wasn't set enough on my last video. I set that bridle rein out there and drive her into that bridle rein. She gets to go over top of it, get soft in the eye, 
and gets a little quiet because someday this is what we want. See that nice little flexion there? That's the start of it. I got eight rides on it. But look what these feet did. I don't go, see here's the thing that I talked about on my last video. Everybody else right away when they get on their horse, they're, they're walking off and this is doing nothing. And they're just walking off. And that's fine. But then there's a little bit of this holding them back. The whole time. Just like you. The whole time you held on your horse. Right? So you're desensitizing your You do this once in a while and it kind of gets your horse soft. But for the most part, I'm this here is look, I pushed her forward. And now once she's going forward, I'm not holding her in any way. Right? I'm not holding her in any way. But if, this is most people. See, now they're holding them. Now they're desensitizing them to the bridle. Now here's the thing, your hands are tied up because you're busy holding them. When the shoulders go offline, you really can't do anything because you're holding them. I want them to, to understand that they have a job to do and a responsibility. Don't change gates, don't change directions unless I say so, all right? So if I'm going to the left, see I'm driving. I'm driving her around. Now I'm gonna work on this arc. I'm gonna set that rein to where she goes around and gets soft on that rein. Look how quiet that eye is. Because someday I wanna pull on two reins, like this. But I'm driving her up into them reins right there. This, that's dressage. That's where you can go get dressage, they're gonna teach you. They're gonna, in a roundabout way, take another three years to get to that spot, right? Drive with this, right? So one arc at a time, right? Because I'm gonna put two arcs together going this way or going this way and eventually I put the two arcs together now I got that vertical flexion that you're yep. pissing around with out there and pissing your horse off right yep. all right so now I've got that going now because it's a greener horse I'm not just going to canter off and get bucked off so I'm going to get some shit going on here which is the trot trotting arcs left right left right I'm pushing with the inside, set that rein out there. I can't grab the battle, back of the saddle in the trot mm -hmm. because it's too much bend. So I'm gonna lock that elbow into my rib cage. I'm going left, right, left, right. And I'm looking for a quiet trot. It's not gonna be great today, but it'll day by day by day, okay? It'll look a little erratic, but I'm, I'm working on them arcs and, and getting her over top of that bridle and soft on the bridle. Then I'm gonna leave the arc, leave them, then I'm gonna put them on my famous circle, which I said before, there's an inside of my body is driving the inside of that circle. The outside of my body must be blocking. So it kind of, as I'm driving her around there, she's on a loose rein. She has the choice to go to the barn. I want her to make mistakes. Go to the barn. I get to rear back and pull on them shoulders and pull her through the middle of the bullseye, all the way through the middle, folks. I got to make a, enough of an impression that it bothers her enough that she says she keeps trying to go to the barn and she, ah, can't, it keeps, but I let her go, make the mistake, let her go, make the mistake, let her go, make the mistake. Then on the other side, she's going to fall in and you're going to see me drive the inside of her, right? And again, I'm driving here, it drives her up into the rain and then she has to get soft and go forward and the outside of my body blocks and when I get a little softness, I let go. Do it again, and do it again, and do it again, and do it again, and do it again. Year after year, I go, and I take that same circle to Houston, wherever, right, and get them quiet and get them thinking, right? So here we go with the trot. Left, nine. Now we're going the other way. inside of my foot, driving her around on that bridle, starting to get her soft, pick them ribs up, drives her around the other way. Nice, already starting them, get her over. This little girl's gonna make this run here. All right, she's going around and over, getting quiet on that bridle, let her go. Up. 
how quiet she is. Then when I let her go, I don't have your horse doing that. Get off my face, girl. So I'm going to suck it around a little bit more and push harder. I want a little bit more of her. Get them ribs out of the way and go forward. Another way. Get them ribs out of the way. Go forward. My core is driving. I'm ready. circle. See how my reins are loose. Mm -hmm. I can work on the soft or on the vertical flexion later. We're working on the emotional part now. Do you want to run off? Yeah. I'm just making this big circle and at first I'm not being too training off the bat. I don't want to piss her off. So I'm just going to show her the circle. I'm not going to train too much for three or four circles and just let her feel the circle out. I don't want her to think that every time she moves her feet she's going to get picked on. her forward. All right, so now I can feel like I got kind of a decent thing going here. Now I'm going to counter. I'm going to go around just so I can show you. So see where she's going? Guess what? I get to do that shoulder thing you've been doing all the time, but you're picking on them day in and day. I only, I just do it and do it, but I let go. is quiet enough she gets it gets it she gets to think her horse forward. Alright, so here we go. So then sometimes when they're when they get like this horse is starting to get wound up just a tick, then we'll just we're gonna use the canter. Like Caesar. Caesar walks them dogs around the block. Three blocks. Before he teaches them anything. So you can use the canter. pull on the inside rein and work on softer. But not yet, because I've got an emotional horse right now. She's wanting to go places I don't want her to. Guess what? I get to pull on the shoulders and let go. They're emotional. She's emotional, but she gets to wander around here and figure it out without me picking. 
about me picking on the rain. You had a hold of your horse the whole time. Drive. Outside shoulder. Now I get to pull on the inside shoulder. Do it, do it. So when I pull that nose in that far, this foot is blocking her from going in the middle and it softens that rein. Soft, soft, soft. Give me a little bit. Give me a little bit. St. John. into your barrel. On that ring, work on it, work on it. Come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it. So you see how I fixed the outside shoulder? You don't go to the barn anymore. Now I work on the inside. Starting. Here we go. Let go. Driving with my core. arc I'm starting to get. That's the start. That's the that's my program right there. I mean there's little other tidbits to it for sure, but that's a daily every horse. And I put them away right there. I go the other direction, same thing, and they, day by day by day, I'm looking for them reins to get started. I have to go through all that groundwork out there, tie that down, get on, make sure that I can move up around. 
and then I get up here. Now they're trying to get away, go back home. I got to pull on them outside shoulder, right? Once I get that going, then I'm working on the inside shoulder. Now they're pretty hooked on that circle. And anything I do rings with the bell. This is what I need. This is this is what I'm supposed to do. And this is driving. This gets soft. This is driving. This gets soft. Someday, that horse that I sold to that girl, what, I could slide that horse in 40 days, probably 10 feet. Somebody walked by and I just like go whoa. And they, very athletic. It's very receptive, receptive to my training. But that's what I do. I don't do anything. But I got her good mentally. Then the emotional part was drifting. Like she'd want to kind of jump at some horses and it's emotion. That's the emotional. Then when you get that over with, now you pick on this stuff. Get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, one rein at a time. At the very end I pull on two. Done. Over. Back to the barn. Both sides. Day in and day out. Depending on the horse, 40 days. You got people on the fence watching you going, that guy knows something. 40 days, 20 days. Simple, simple. I'll go the other way here in a bit. You see the other direction, but as far as the camera goes.